Hey everybody, Monkey Puzzle here, and just back with a quick little update to the bigger rafts tutorial I did recently. Just found out a few improvements to a couple things I showed you. Basically, I had shown you before how to sink foundations into a vanilla raft in Ark Survival Evolved. Gives you a couple advantages, a lower profile of the whole thing. You can access the rudder just like this without having to have a hole in the middle. But most importantly, from the bottom, the whole raft is now protected by the stone. And whether a creature or a person is trying to attack it, it's a lot stronger than having the raft exposed. But I did this, I had figured it out for myself, and I purposely didn't watch any other tutorials beforehand. But then afterwards, I binged on a bunch of them and found out that a couple of the methods I was using were out of date and folks had figured out better ones. So here they are. This is kind of common knowledge at this point, but I just wanted to correct, correct myself since I had done a previous video on this. So I have shown you how to start by basically using the sail and this little line of wood there to center and place a foundation like that. Now that's kind of arbitrary and it's never going to be exact. There's an easier way to do it. All you have to do is get the piece you want to place first in your hand and then you just drive and it will automatically be in the center like that. And even if I wanted to do with another piece like this pillar, you could go ahead and do the same thing. Drive automatic centering. So just go ahead and place that without moving and there we go. So that is the first thing I wanted to show you. It's just a lot easier to place. You get a little less options on where it is in this direction, but you could always adjust that in various ways later. And the next thing is that in order to lower the foundations, I had shown you a way where you basically, oop, wrong piece, you build up with pillars, another pillar high, you place the ceiling, you come down, and then use that to get incrementally lower. Well, there is an easier and less expensive way. Basically, all you got to do is what I did here. And then this, that's it snapping off of the foundation. But there's another snap point right there where it snaps off that pillar. And it does the same incremental lowering that we had before. You can place another pillar there. And if we just bring it this direction, you get the snap point off the foundation. And then if we just wiggle around enough, we'll find the snap point off of the pillar that is a little bit lower. Any day now. All right, well, that didn't work, so I learned something new. You can't work across like that. So what I should have done... Go back to where we were is demolish this first place the pillar and then we can go ahead and this will work correctly like that so with that lesson learned now we demolish this one get rid of that one too heavy so let's make some more of the foundations pillar Foundation in the lower, oops, in that lower snap point that is right there. And then demolish, the demolish, rinse, and repeat. So that's almost low enough. I can tell that that's not going to be quite low enough. Still be able to drive. Let's do it one more time. Get that lower snap point. Let's try it over here. And the last one is always the hardest one to find. There it is. So that's the one. If we get rid of these. Right here. We're going to be able to come across with that snap point. There'll still be a little wood showing. But... They are completely sank into here. This is protected. And, best of all, they'll drive. 
So that's it. Everything else is the same. The way I extended off of there before is the same. Just basically using thatch ceilings to go out and then placing the foundations underneath them. And the little red messages will tell you when you have gone as far as you can go. That's it. Just wanted to show you those better methods. This is Monkey Puzzle. Happy raft and boat building. See you next time. Bye-bye.